Hey, how's it going? It's Brett, Useful Aircraft. As if I don't have enough esoteric hobbies, thought I'd just show you. Real fast update. That first off is the uh, FPV ship. Um, it's built with a flight controller and that's got the FPV tail and whatnot. You can see it's pretty cool. I dig it. The USB port lives down there for the SpeedyB. The, um, so that just plugs straight in. GPS, you know, mounted just behind that. GPS sees through foam board just fine. ELRS receiver. You know, that's down below, lives on the third level of this avionics rack that I built up for that. Um, and the, um, you know, so it's, it's a Gemini receiver. You've got a single um, T antenna coming out the top that I have aligned like this. The second T antenna is longitudinally aligned. Bottom of the fuselage down here, again, isolated as best I could from the RF. Um, you know, and again, all of that keeps the RF separate from the video antenna. That's uh, not the latest and greatest than my nerdy exploits today. The other one I've been playing with, um, you know, I was an amateur radio guy for a long time. Uh, you know, haven't been the most active dude out there, but anyway, I exist. Um, something that's been interest uh, to me is uh, Meshtastic and, um, you know, the uh, Mesh-style radio network systems. Um, there's devices out there, for example, this is a, uh, a Liligo, uh, <clears throat> you know, T Echo. Um, <clears throat> it runs off LoRa technology, very similar uh, to the uh, ELRS stuff that we use in uh, model aviation. But at the same time, um, this creates a network based text communication system for basically short messages. Um, creates its own mesh network, you know, passes and relays messages, and then can also work to relay those over the internet. Um, you, where I'm at, there's not a super active mesh community. There is further south of me, but something I've been playing with uh, just for fun is this. Same thing, you can see there's a, a T Echo device that firmly secures in there. Got a different, um, you know, slightly modified canopy, a couple of 3D printed latches. You can see those there. Otherwise, it's the same thing. And the T Echo device literally just gets placed in the nose, just like this. Um, canopy goes on just like that. And it sits there. You can still get to the USB port. You know, the device is not glued in or anything. However, it is secured and it is uh, in there just right. The battery still fits. Um, you know, I've loitered these things for uh, about 30 minutes, um, just depending on how you're, uh, how you're doing it, what sort of power setting. Um, you know, what sort of loader radius and, and what you do to get to altitude, um, but you can do something like that. So it's just something to think about because obviously uh, antenna placement is key. You can have a $10,000 radio sitting here on the ground trying to broadcast something, or you can have a $100 radio, you know, a thousand feet up in the air and he's going to have a lot more luck, just, you know, boils down to antenna placement. So, you know, obviously that's a quick generalization. I don't know if many of you are interested in that, um, but again, that's a, uh, a Lily Go. Uh, you can see T Echo uh, mounted in the nose of one of these airplanes, and uh, you can probably guess uh, how well that works. I'm uh, playing around with it for a little bit, and I'll let you know how it goes. Appreciate your time.